You're getting out of the bowl, one or the other. No, I, I wore a golf shirt or a fishing shirt to, to school, but it was a little bright for the room, so, <laughs> so I changed it up. I like breaking things up on that. We heard anything from anything the on, the, on the Everest? Have we heard anything from the people who are opposed? Anything additional? Or they <laughs> no, not, nothing, adi nothing additional, from but that. they 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 asked for them, they asked for them, you know, an, an extra month. Yeah. They were going to be away or what have you, you know, so, you know, in, 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 in fairness and, re you know, let's be reasonable, well, give them their day, you know. <laughs> Another day. <laughs> Yeah, I'll listen. You know, if they're going to repeat the same stuff that they said the last time. So it's going to go. Think, in, it's going to go in a circle. I, I, I guarantee, but that, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, we got a lot of Hopefully, they'll be a little less insulting this time. Yeah, yeah. combative. I'll get over it. A little bit. Yeah, <laughs> no, I got to think our most combative. Yeah, combative. Should, combative. Be it should be locked up. Yeah, it is. Remember the somebody's got clearly the cell tower. Oh no, I had. I had. I had an assault. I had a guy hit the guy with a. That's right. That's before my time. But if I could do it, I could. There were. Oh, this the woman with the not the right way, the but the she had that was the first. The, they're all the trying to expand the down there. Uh, yeah, all yeah. Iron <laughs> on 12, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And every one of those houses oh, like expanding. Right there. Yeah, oh. that's right. It's changed. Yeah, say, there's a, it's oh, an so extra you copy. Keep those? This, yeah, yeah, and they just kept having to like, come back and make the same argument. Take them. There's no. What one of my favorite ones that was a little bit ridiculous though that wasn't serious. Remember, it was Green along one of the same fire lights. They just wanted them to flip the floor. And in Grant, they just said, we fit the neighborhood. Them. It was going to be the same footprint, but there was something about it that if they had flipped the floor. That was the rear one. <laughs> and you're just like, well, at some point, oh. the, the variances were the same, but it was but it Dave, the interior. <laughs> they have no idea what, what it yeah, was. They, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, the windows had a stack to do with their window. Uh, <laughs> they see the building they out of their window. Window. Uh, I just, yeah, and they get mad. I didn't do a work from board. I just sketched it out and then oh, do, yeah. do it off my, exactly. off my head. I try and edit where I can, but. Yeah, it's outside. Uh, yeah, because it's. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the hands be other things yeah. all over the place. Right. Yeah. And okay. Oh, okay. And wait a minute. Did you see the lady said this? Yeah. Oh no. That's why I said sign, I'm not freestanding I'm sign, sign written. Oh, it's written with a. Oh, it's, it's a little ahead. In his yard, I know. Yeah, it's a little lag behind. And I'm so that volume goes down. Investigation, his so. investigation business. Like if that volume's down, okay, if somebody. Yeah, I would just say that was conditioned. But I'm saying, what if somebody yeah. were to? Yeah. Yeah. This is confusing. Yeah. Well, is anybody attending remote? Nobody right now. I'm um, sorry. Okay. Not starting. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is it? I mean, it. I have a question about this. Um, Which one? Oh, the problem with work with team meetings one, where, you know, you'll be sharing screens, yes. you'll be doing all this, and he then they'll, um, they'll be like, what is the they'll be putting here? comments in the chat. The like, oh, so it, I don't have another person here to watch the chat. Like, where, it's how it's a chat. It is Three 15, people to run the meeting, one to watch the chat, one to watch those calls. That's how they have it. Yeah. 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 When I have the bigger training session, do that. It works. It's great. Other than oh, that. plus the height, plus the height. Okay, right. Some of these right. teams and teams <laughs> will I got so. suppress. Plus it just wasn't on the notifications original. while you got the wrong one. Oh, you got the wrong one. Sending you oh, things. No, like, hey, I'm talking I about the. Yeah, no, because it's not a front yard. That's a side right. yard. That's, I didn't see it. <laughs> the stairs are side yard. You, you end the meeting. No, I know. <laughs> but I'm talking about the um the shack. It's within five feet. Within yeah, within five feet of the line. Oh, because it's an accessory, yeah. so it's fine. Well, it's atta technically attached to the building. That was the issue. He, he tried to make it freestanding, and Pat said, "No, yeah, that's like the it. stairs." But the shed, because it's accessories, only five feet. Correct. Yeah. Okay. That's why it's always. Thank you. Yes, accessory structure five yeah, feet yeah. with yeah. with the minimum yeah. Yeah. square footage. If it was bigger it's than a uh, bigger than one hundred and twenty square feet, then oh, right. 10, right? Right, right, right. Got it. We're almost there, yeah, guys. Yeah. We're almost there. We usually, we would ordinarily start early, but we got caught 
a couple of times we did yeah. it and then people came in and objected well, yeah, the application so, so we some of that 120 we, we no longer jump the gun we Plus wait the till the time a little <laughs> Just You're slightly bigger than that, yeah. right? That people want it. So it didn't just seem like well, we'd save a lot of these if we just said, well, oh, should okay. it be 160? Yeah. Hey, Lori, hey, you, you, you took the first, 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 one, first two pages of the minutes. Oh, you put them at that? Because I know what I put mine in. I didn't. I left it with that. Okay. Well, the 120. Uh, Lord, yeah. did you start the recording? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's, let's call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda of minutes from last meeting. Um, there were a number of small grammatical changes, nothing to the substance. Anybody have any, any, any changes, additions, or deletions? I have a motion to approve the minutes. So I'll move. I'll second. Yep, Steve. Okay. Is Patrick joined us? I have not seen him, and I'm on mine too. Okay, so. you're on both. Yep. If you see him pop up, let I'm me know so we can add him. If you give him trouble, he might just call you. He said. Yeah, well, if you see anybody, because I, you know, yep. that was that's a big problem. Okay, first, um, first item on the agenda tonight is an application by Devin McLaughlin of seven one two five Alaska Road, Auburn, New York, seeking a ten foot north side yard area variance to construct stairs uh, from an existing deck to the yard. Can't cancel. Pardon? Can't zoom in. Then? Yeah, he's trying to. That, that's all right. We're, we, he's not on here. Not yeah, he's trying. He's trying to get in. He can't. He the, can't get in. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, just, just let him know if we need him. We'll, we'll call him. How's that, Mr. McLaughlin? Here, come on up and join us. Grab a seat and explain what's going on. Uh, you kind of jumped the gun on this one. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I just bought the place and I had some time. I want to get started. And I thought I had a good idea of the uh, the codes, but uh, yeah, just just a, just a little bit off. Now, it, it, now, I that deck in the rear doesn't have. So there's a it's a first. It's a brand new purchase. The house. Yep. Okay. In June. And um, the the rear portion toward the Alaska River is paved behind the, the building uh -huh. and there's two, I just want to kind of set the stage for everybody. So there's two access doors um, to the building underneath the deck area, the, deck area. Yep. the, the existing deck area. Yep. And um, so there's no way to go off the deck with stairs down to the paved area without interfering with the ingress and egress. Right. of the whoever's uh living their apartment are their apartments there or is yeah. it a single family well it's yeah it's, it's, I think it's two family two family yeah that's what i thought so that is there a rear is there a rear apartment or and then front? The, yeah the front the top all right and um is there a way is that deck for which which unit the upstairs from Up, my, yeah. so the the front the front yeah the, the building front, and then it has walks out onto that um it's like a rubber membrane roof so there was no exit so i figured that'd be a good spot and i think the, yeah the, the deck's pretty high up in the air uh, how how high off high, how high off the ground is it uh i think it was about Say 90. I'd have to get my that gives them two two entrances, all right, from the front and then from there, the side, or is it just one for the upstairs? It's for the upstairs, the one, yeah, it's one, right? Yeah, so, so, so this will give them an so always important for safety considerations. That's why you know, one yeah. of the things I was thinking about with this deck is okay, if there was ever an issue in that front entrance block, 
they have no other way out of the front apartment. Right. Okay. So it's like fire other, other than to jump yeah. to other than mm -hmm. to jump to the pavement yeah. below, which yeah. is not a, a great yeah. alternative. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, all right. I, has every everybody? I mean, I've seen that. I've been over there three times. You, the 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 issue, you know, you're joining town property, by the way. Right. You know, which sometimes can present a problem because there's a pumping pump house, pump house there, yeah. and getting equipment in and out. That's um, so that did present a little bit of an issue, though. I mean, there's five foot to work with, with, with this, you know, with the structure, but, you know, one of, one of the reasons why, you know, important to, to address the, the issue. Everybody see that? The, I've got photographs if, they, if you guys haven't seen it. Anybody have any questions? Now, the stairs, are they going to have a roof over it? I mean, uh, have a kind of roof yeah. for you. That was, I was leaving it for an option if it was... If I can get approval, but if not, doesn't need to be. And we're going to enclose underneath. Right not there? enclose it. Just that was just going to be the deck. Just the way it is, right? Yeah, and like I said, I left beams up to right. put a, a, a like a slant roof. If just for snow removal, it just makes it that much easier. But if that's not approval, yeah. Right? But the but the stairs wouldn't the stairs wouldn't be covered in any of that. I was thinking about it, but again, I mean, if, if it's not approvable, oh, then I cannot cover them. All I really want was it that a set, you wanted access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, see, it, it, I mean, there's no, it's not, it's a rear yard, so it's not a height variance issue, right? I mean, do you see any additional? Well, if you put a roof on, does it turn into a the change like of a Oh yeah, you have it to does. do a building a area. Yeah, it's just a yeah, yeah. It yeah you don't want to. It may change uh, our, our. If you had come and set to this hearing and asked for a roof on it, we, there would have been additional calculations for about impervious okay. structure, and we, there's no calculations on it. Um, you know, so I did pan it, and it's paved all the way out and back. So I don't know if they exceed or not. Yeah, oh, I mean, the roof yeah. Area, it would add it to the building. No, what I'm saying is, right, as, right. As, it, as, it, as it exists now, it might be at or exceed impervious coverage because of all the paving. Yeah, and the driveways, yeah. And the, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah. if we had a roof, then we got another, we got some other okay. issue. Different issue. Because currently, right now, it's just a five foot setback. Right? Yeah, right now, it's just a five, uh, uh, you know, variance. It's just five foot setback. We're, We'd be talking about permitting. If he's going to add a roof, you'd have to re look at it. Right. That's yeah. Right. If, 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 if you intend okay. to put a roof on it, you're going to have to come back. Sure. And Pat, Pat's going to have to come back okay. and do the additional calculations on okay. impervious coverages. Sorry about that. No, because all it, I was going to do was build it exactly. The roof was going to cover no wider than the existing stairs and platform. But yeah, but get, what yeah. it does is it changes your. The way they calculate the impervious coverage. Okay. Fair uh, enough. Also, yeah. water runoff. Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. Especially, especially with the, I got to call it the right title, the Owasco River <laughs> <laughs> being in such a close proximity. Right. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. So I the, yeah. Right. The, the angle of the house of so the current it's, house it's is tipped. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. So is it? Is that the structure going any closer to the? No, well, this? Pat, yeah, Pat, Pat felt comfortable with the ten. Given the ten, but it's actually going to be less, less on, than the on, on, the, on the front, on the the rear yard yeah. closest to the river. The, yeah. It doesn't need as much. Further, yeah. The closest is the uh, that the post on the, on the side because right. the house is going towards the cocked. Yeah. Yeah, but the notation on the survey is that five foot four inches or fifty four inch. Like the house is already. I the think front that's five feet four inches. Okay, yeah. so the step, the setback, but then the stairs is a little close. Yeah, closer. I I strung it off for Pat. Yeah, I did. That I've was, got I've got. If that makes sense. Yeah, I've got I've got pictures of the, the lines. Yeah, because the 
the first so stair is five sense. feet. Yeah, you still need what I'm saying is the existing house is yeah, already exactly on the line. Right so there. that's right. Are we real are that's we making the are we make in other words it by is there a need to approve this when the house, the existing house structures are already, already closer, closer than this? Than yeah. The line? yeah, well, it's new. Still okay. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. Still have to it, because of the new construction, that. Pat felt that it was important that we we address yeah. it. But yes, that the house, because of the angle yeah. of the house yeah. on the lot, yeah. it, it's cocked. Literally, the house is closer to the line, the property line, yeah. than the stairs that you're running in. Yeah. And I mean, that's one factor that we look at right. in, in granting a request like that. Well, that's it's what like, I was getting at. The town needs to get down through there to get to the pump state. Like we're not narrowing the overall right. distance. No, no that's, fine. that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they, have, they have plenty of area. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not, it's not encroaching any more than the existing structure. No. That's what I was getting at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely not. Any any other thoughts? I mean, this is this one is about as pretty yeah. As long as it's not I, I guess covered, you're asking. Right? I, I guess yeah. you're asking more for forgiveness, forgiveness than yeah. permission yeah. at this point. The game. It's kind of like the shed. We we don't want anything stored. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. You know, absolutely. Be. Anytime we're granted, we've been granting a, a and you'll see the in the minutes from the last meeting. You know, anytime we grant a, uh, a variance closer to a property line no storage of items behind or to this you know to the the property uh, or around. adjacent property okay. because what ha what what happens is, is people put things up and then they can't see it from the house and they store all their stuff and their, their neighbor looks at it yeah. so we've been Ha so, having an issue with that. that right? How does that work? Like, because the shed is like almost right on the property line. That that was but before. There. That, that, that was, was before. Yeah, yeah, that was the zoning changed. But okay. Say I get rid of that shed. I couldn't put another one there. So I could just no, you could, no, shed. no, you, yeah, no, yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, couldn't <laughs> Jeez. All right. That's not without coming in. Yeah. No, not without coming in. Yeah. But if it's on the same blueprint, sometimes you know. Yeah, it, I mean, out. most of the time, if that shed were in disrepair. Yeah. And it was pre-existing. We would Usually. generally go along with it unless there's some sort of major like issue. You have a lot of wiggle room there. So. You no, know, <laughs> no. There's not. There, there's not. Given the configuration of this property, there's not a whole lot of yeah, choice. Right. Yeah. So we we get it. Anybody have a motion on this one? Uh, I do have a motion. I'm Michael Jones. Have a motion to grant the applicant Devin F. McLaughlin of 7125 of Wasco Road, tax map 123.11-1-3. Can I? I, I I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, no, I messed up. I, can, can, before we, we formalize the motion, is there anybody here to speak for or against the proposal? Let the record reflect that there is no one to speak either for or against. Sorry, Michael. That That's was fine. that okay. was my mess. No, you're fine with that. I thought it did something wrong. <laughs> I believe that's right. Um, tax map 123.11-1-33 have requested a 10-foot north side yard variance to construct stairs to an existing deck. I am making the motion for the following a 10-foot north side yard. Uh, area variance to allow the construction of stairs off the north side of the deck. While the hardship is self-created, the board finds request reasonable. Homes and lots in this area of the town were constructed prior to present zoning codes. Thus, many of the lots are narrow, requiring a variance to be able to achieve building of any structures. Uh, in making this determination, the board took into account the health, welfare, and safety of the community. In doing so, we have determined the following. There will be no undesirable change to the character of the neighborhood. Other properties in the area have similar situations due to the narrowness of the lots. Um, no, there will be no storage underneath the stairs. Uh, there was no one to speak uh, out against the request and this is the minimum variance necessary to achieve the desired purpose of having stairs off of the residential deck. I second. I second. I just have a question. Did you mention about the um, safety of the exit point that we discussed? Oh. Uh, this will also be a, used as a uh, emergency exit. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's an important consideration. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Barry? Yes. Jim? Yes. Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. And David? Yes. Good to go. Talk to Patrick before you do, we'll do, do, any, do, do anything, please. Yeah, we'll do. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a good Thanks day. Thanks for coming in. Have a good night. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's yes. Oh, nice. Nice. Just a reminder for me. <laughs> and sticking it to me. <laughs> Patrick, yes, no? No. no. He said, I, I told him he could call in or we could put him on. Uh, he said, you need to call me on the phone. Okay. Yeah, okay, next item on tonight's agenda is an application of John and Kristen yep. Pease of 325 Sunset Beach Drive, Auburn, New York, seeking uh, tax map 138-03-1-65. Yeah, seeking a variance uh, to install a shed 10 foot high in the front yard of Lakeshore property. Um, Mr. Pease, yep. come on up. Hi, how are you? No, I know I've been out there three times. I imagine everybody have a chance to inspect the site. Because I've got, I, I do have photographs, a number of them. Okay. Um, want to explain what you're doing, why you want to do what you're doing. Then. I need uh, storage, mostly for water toys, anything water related, um, you know, stuff like that. I do have a shed on the property now. Um, it is in the backyard. Uh, it is full. It's a 10 by 16 shed. It's the exact same size of the one that I want to put. So you don't, um, your, your, your proposal is like basically an eight foot walls. And exactly. Two feet, two, so, and, a so the and a shallow is, peak. Right. Yeah, the peak yeah. is the ten yeah. foot. So that's that's the highest point of it. Where the yeah. corners are about eight foot. Yeah. Um, Here we go. Right. Okay. Um, we have a uh, nine hundred square foot house. It's very very small. It's three bedrooms. Um, it does not have a closet. Not one. Not a closet. So anything that you would put in this house, uh, normally, you know, where there would be toilet paper or, you know, anything like that, uh, we, we don't have room for it to store. So a lot of that stuff goes in the existing shed that's there. The, the one out in the actually yeah. roadside. Yes. And that is why that one is completely filled. Um, I can barely walk in it. So you put one side of a, you know, lawn maintenance, stuff like that, riding tractor and all that, the other side of shelves, and it's completely filled. Okay. Now, my understanding is that you're going to replace this home, yes. correct? Yes. I mean, that, this uh, when the first original application was made, I, I was unaware, at least, and I think the board was unaware that you had already, you didn't need any variances for the um, new home. So you, you skipped us and went right on to planning, which is, okay, and planning had a approve the site plan for the right. new place. On December 2nd, 20. Yeah. 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 So that house should actually be built by now. They, they should have been done about three months ago. Um, well, COVID. But COVID screwed everything up. So <laughs> you all know that, right? So yeah. it, I, was, it was insanely <laughs> priced on top of delays and stuff like that. And it just wasn't the right time to build. So as soon as the right time you know, happens, we will build. Yeah, um, you, but you do understand, should we grant the variance that you still have to go back to plan it? I understand that. Yeah, because it would be an amendment to the, to the uh, original plan. plan. It'd be an amendment to the their uh, site plan, and so that's you know even if we gave this a blessing, it's not it's not a done deal because planning would have to approve it. Understood. You know, um, you know we don't have any say. Often, most of the time, whenever there's a variance request, had you come in originally with that. I'm, I'm, they would have sent it to us first. Right. We would have weighed in on whether we would have let the shed or not. And then it would have went to them for right. approval. And it's kind of backwards yeah. now. Okay. Using it for the last two years, this is, you know, yeah. be the best thing for 
us at this point. So now, how how, how deep is the property? It's uh, three hundred feet. One line I, I believe is three hundred five, and the other one is three hundred. But I've only found that on one of the. I think the south line is longer than the north line. I just I got I got to get oriented on this a little bit. The north line is two hundred ninety five. Oh, there's a five foot difference. So the other one's 300? 300. 300. Okay. Now, I, on, the, on the original um, site plan, uh, it, it has a couple bioswales. That, that would be the new one. So new, in order to get the new plan approved, uh, Bob Eggleston is the one who made all the stuff. Um, he put the bioswales in there. Okay. Um, and so they will, they're, they would still go in there in the, in the process. So this shed would sit um, to the- yeah, Well, I guess, I, I guess, yeah, I guess my, my, my point on it is the way this is configured, it's, it's not leaving a whole lot of options. Unless, for the, for the uh, placement of the shed. For replacement right. of shed, right. other, other than pushing it closer to the water, which we-, we, we Which is originally what I wanted to do. And I realized that that's a problem, um, it, especially because everybody would see it. Uh, so this is as far back possible that we could still do the same plan. Um, and it's also usable for us. Uh, there are utilities. So if you keep going east on that line, so on the side of the house, all the utilities are there. So there's septic. Uh, the sewer pump, the sewer pump, the, the, the septic tank the sewer pump. pump. So, so you, have, you have the uh, grinder pump. Right. The grinder right. pump's on that side. The, the gas, the water, the electric, everything runs right there. So the, the placement of that won't work there. Um, the other side is where I can get machinery back and forth if I needed to do some work. Well, in yeah, the yeah. If, well, when that, when that new, when the new house comes in, if I'm, if I've got this correctly, so you're going to have a porch around to the, the lake side and then wrap around the north, correct. And what's yeah. the distance from the, the shed to the new proposed house? Uh, it'll be, uh, so so the, the, the that corner, new proposed yeah. house moves up 10 feet and then there's a 10 foot deck off of that. Okay. So the new shed would be 10 feet off of that. Okay, so it's, so that's, need, so that's it's pretty it comes, close. So we, right? that's 10 would be the minimum off. we would need. For, I think not, not from a variance, but I think we've talked to Patrick the code for, from for a, building, code. Right. building code. So that was yeah. the reason of the placement. Okay. Because so it works with everything. It works right now yeah. and it also works with the new plan. Yeah. Well, okay. Now there is there is on this site plan, uh, it looks like a, a 28 by 24 foot garage. It's not part of the plan. We had told Bob uh, when we were planning the house, he said, are you going to do a garage? And I said, it'll probably be uh, later. If we were building Okay, so house, this is, so the future garage has not been approved. The future garage has not, um, and the future garage won't go in until that becomes what would be a retirement home for us. We'll, we'll be snowbirds at one point. So we'll live here during the summer and someplace else during the winter down south. So um, oh, when that be, when when that happens, we're going to need that garage. Yeah, so that he, he makes fun of me about it because I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would too. Well, that's that's the plan. It's a it's a it's a ways away, but that's the plan. So, well, you look a little younger than me, so yeah. So, uh, so did uh, Eggleston then? He's he's planning again. This is more planning than us, but the swales here are needed to uh, take care of the capacity of the house and the garage. Yeah, okay. he said He said planning likes the swales. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like them, but obviously- Yeah, you know, well, the, well, the runoff. Is, they're, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. they're more engaged with the runoff to, to the neighbors than than, yep. than we are. I Not mean, only we, the we runoff to the neighbors, but to the lake. Alaska lake. lake. We completely understand, absolutely. Yeah, we're trying to protect the lake as much as we can protect it. So you can't come any- farther back because you'd be within 10 feet you can't come any farther to the north you'd be in yeah no in case you violate the building or the swell the only place or i can go swell. is towards the water and although that works better for me that's not fair to my neighbors in most of the storage from what i saw the numerous times i've been up there would be coming up from the shoreline correct to the 
shed yep. where it's positioned now. If, or if you saw the proposals. picture in the in the in the piece that I wrote for you guys, you'll see the 15 foot trampoline <clears throat> that is up on its side. Do you see? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and th that's half the issue. Uh, in th in that storm, we put three holes in it itself. Now that trampoline is about half the price of the shed. So I look at it as the shed's a pretty good deal. <laughs> you know? well, we but there, there are there are so many things we and have that literally have. measured it out. Yeah, I mean, we, we we were looking at this from six ways to Sunday with a tape. Um, well, there's there were three of us. Well, Patrick and Jerry and I. So. In terms of impacting views, I mean, I, there's a tree line there. Yes. How far? If I, if I show you a picture, because I, I was I was a little unclear. I, I I I think I have it, but I want, I guess, a little confirmation mm -hmm. to make me feel better. Well, Kathy was down there just a few uh, just a few minutes before the meeting, also, so we got to talk. We were standing right where the edge of it would be, so she knows the whole process of, of what happened with well, with why that is kind of open and you know why everything else is enclosed <clears throat> and the reason why is the, the woman that I bought it from Mrs. Waters she was left that house uh, from from the person who owned it who died in 2008 uh, and they were really good friends so everything was cleared out between them other than the big trees that were there um, so the brush line ended about 15 feet to 20 feet past the house, um, west of the house, I should say. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah. Well, let me, let, just so the board members can see, I, just, I, we laid a tape out and I just wanted to try to get a sense of this. Okay. Let me orient these two yep. pictures. Okay. Can we project that on the uh... oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we I'm we, just we can't, we can't even get patched on today. I okay. was there with the tape with them oh, holding okay. the tape, so I know what it looks like. <laughs> but I just saw it for right tree. So it goes this way from that. Tree. Should we be able to so, yeah, right, okay. that so so <laughs> from, look at the space from from you're saying from this tree? Yes, that. Okay. This tree right here. Just how we put the tapes up. We put the that's that's the end of the shed. Right now. Right. Oh, sorry. There was no okay, because we went there to the first. Step. That's where we were. We were thinking. We. I mean, we we were doing some rough estimations. Okay, trying to yep. trying trying to figure out because it yep. wasn't wasn't state, and I, I just wanted to get I so. We're we're pretty close. We're so are you at sixteen feet right there? Yeah. So yeah. So that that looks about the same. You're you're just about parallel with that right. that first tree there. Yeah. There's yeah. the and second tree. That's the, the first house. Tree. Yeah. So we we, I, we thought we had it right, yeah. but I just want I, yep. you know. That's just, right. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to to him balance equities here. Approved plan. Okay. From so this to twenty. That'd be a view shooting up toward your neighbor's home. And, and the show would end over here. Back here. Yep. Can I just interject? Oh, sure. Uh, for, oh, sure. Put, put your name on the record. That's okay. All. Mary Downey, the uh, neighbor. Okay. <laughs> that when you look out from these windows, also we're going to see if there's a large tree shed. I think you're going to see a corner of it. No. You got to, you got to, you too bad you didn't come to our, from our room. We're going to look out at a huge, large white shed. I mean, even, John, you haven't even come inside to look and see what it, the, the, it you have to see the impact from our view. Like this doesn't do it justice. Okay, well, let, we'll, we'll, we'll let you okay. speak your okay. piece, but I, I wanted to oh, get right. I, mean, I mean, from this view, try, it looks like. Yeah, because I, I, I tried to take some pictures trying to kind of feel out your line, your view line. And really what you have to do is come in the house and look at what we're looking at. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the reverse yeah. looking. Looking up. I mean, you know, I, I, without invading your space. Right, right. <laughs> doing the you are all welcome to come and look. Yeah. Pertaining to the low water mark, yeah. 712 so, point. I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. So, Dave. Yeah. So, I asked Mr. Peace to your point about why, why you couldn't put it in the same spot where the existing cottage is. Put the house there, and then the, the shed could be back a little. So I suppose if they had waited, we could have 
discussed that yeah, you know, before. Well, plan, yeah, planning, yeah, already, planning approved. already approved it. But, um, you know, he was just saying he wants it closer to the lake, which makes sense. But um, it gives me more of a view of the lake, you know, because yeah. it's what we're losing the property, what, what right. we're using the property for. Right, we don't right. need that huh? front yard. So we're going to need more space you in mean, the backyard. There's well, so, yeah. much, That's much. so much. Yeah. Backyard. Backyard. yeah. yeah. We well. could actually move that mm -hmm. whole new house for it. Oh, you, you, yeah, literally. No, I mean, I, well, th this has been an issue in the lakefront properties. I think I can go almost 50 feet forward if I wanted to. That's what right? I mean. Well, that's, yeah. that's, that's, 30, that's, that's, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah. And then, so then, then your neighbor's foot looking high. at the back of your house. Yeah. I mean, technically, I think you could do that because of the right. way it's measured. We've had this ongoing debate. I, I think we had the issue. I, with I, I, I think, I think towards the, the lake. Toward yeah. the lake. Yes. He could be in front of their house. Sure. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, he could move for his place. He's going to knock his place down. He could actually literally move his house. I'm not looking to do that. I by think the way. there's a, isn't there some 712 that, feet is the low water low water mark. Yeah. It's the measured 50 feet. No, 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 because of the irregular shore. We, we ran into that farther up on the lake uh, with the Reardon property. Yeah, this is so it, they only need yeah, to be 50 be feet off that. that's right he can of wherever that yeah that average water see that's value. see well that's what, what I guess yeah. I'm kind of getting this is a, a little bit better compromise than yeah, moving so the house up. trying to yeah we try to keep <laughs> them what's back. Being, what's being stored in the shed? Water stuff, water toys, uh, inflatable. So if you guys took a look, yeah, everything boats that are going in there. We, we have a sunfish, but it won't go in the shed. Um, yeah. for the for the winter we'll probably put it up on the side on the side of the so like there. what's the heaviest item that's going in that that um that, that trampoline? water trampoline's 110 pounds or something like that i'm getting old so you know, there's no way you're, you're not putting a garage up so no not anytime soon but okay. the shed could go where the garage is going to be proposed and then the shed could be torn down for the new garage. But then I would have to walk through a fence line and another hundred and something feet. Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm right? just yeah. trying to. He was trying no, to. No, there's nothing. I know that. I understand that. Who's going to go haul it? No, I, I have a similar situation with the lake property where the garage is at, at the far end and it becomes a. Well, it, where it is an inconvenience. Yeah, I, I get it. You know, you're also looking at somebody else's like view of the lake. Yeah. Well, the, that they've had for their entire life. You mean for six months? Well, however long they've ran in the house. Okay. Well, all right. So, um, any, I guess there's no variance requested to the property line. No. It's just so we're so we're right so we're talking height only. Right. So we well, no, we also. Well, 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 Jerry, what? We also have to do a building variance, building coverage variance. Was there coverage issue on this? Yes, because of the proposed new house, which we're going by because it was approved okay. before us. Is there? So we're looking at the, the building coverage will come out to be 11%. So we have to give, we're looking at a 1% variance for building coverage. Are you including the garage in that, Jerry? No, I'm not including the garage. I'm just so under the proposed, he's at 9.9. Okay. 9, right. And you're adding the other 100 and it's a 10 by 10 by 16. 160 square feet. That puts it over, Jerry. Jerry, the, the one thing you got to consider is yeah. that is that driveway isn't as big as the one on the plan either. So uh, that's got another 600 square feet of driveway space. No, no, I'm not doing impervious. I'm no. doing building cars. Oh, I'm sorry. Build, yeah. Yeah. According we to have a the, green space. Gotcha. According we to deal the with so many little, little nuances. We have a green space and impervious coverage issues Understood. that we. So it'd be 20 or. Yeah, yeah Patrick 20. didn't flag that. Well, what, what happened is, I hate to say this, but with it, planning it approval. Before us. The plan prior <laughs> to it coming in to us. <laughs> yeah. It's more confusing. They've created a uh, 22. I mean, it's totally backwards. I'm sorry, but and we're trying to clean it up. Yeah, I get it. Well, yeah, so it, it's it actually 10.5%. It was, it was, it was, it was, wait a minute, so wait, 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 a, wait a minute, sir. It's not accurate because 672 foot is, is allocated garage. to the future garage that hasn't been yeah, approved. That's right. So that's not on the coverage. 
Uh, so, uh, they approved the oh. coverage without the garage. No, it's nine point. It's nine point nine. Nine point nine percent with the garage. With the garage. But it's not. Oh, and it would with the future garage. <laughs> That's that, hey, you know, yeah, I get you. So, but the shed, this shed would push us over. But what's going to be interesting oh, is right. then if you go build your future garage, you're going to need a variance for coverage. Understood the shed and the garage. Well, we're not doing the garage. So what about with the shed without the garage? Well, it's going to be under. Yeah, but we, be have under. To go we, won't by... need, we won't need a variance on that. We're, we we're have not... to go by the... No, I just plan as a rule of 60 to the yeah. total. The, yeah, but the, but the garage, the, the garage part isn't that. part of the... No, I know. Well, it would, just, it would be under, under obviously, because this is smaller. The shed's only yeah, 160, yeah. so it's going to be less than 9.9. Right. What's it come out to be? Without the garage? It's got to be around five. Well, there's a net difference of uh, 627, hold on there, 672 minus 160. It's 512 square feet less than what it currently is, right? So it would be. 2962 minus 512. Wait, this is, yeah, I, I don't like doing it backwards, but what are yeah, you, hey, what, you deal with what you got. All right, so if there's no garage, it's only at 8.2 percent. So it's not, it's not, so it's, it's it not, doesn't need a variance on it. 8.23 percent, yeah. Yeah, once he garage. once he goes for the garage, then he has to come in with that. You're gonna have to get, variance, gonna have yeah. to get a variance if you're gonna build it. Yeah. But with planning, I guess we don't know what planning approved. That's, Did they approve it with the the garage saying because their job generally is looking at but, all the runoff. Yeah. Right. And the swale. That's why there's the two swales, one on each side okay. of the house. So they there's one in the garage and the house, and then there's one on the yeah. yeah. That's you know, what they approve. I'm I'm kind of inclined to think the same thing. According according to this document, that's what they approve. Mm -hmm. That's all I can go by. Well, then. Yeah, if you're at it, Jerry, it's a half a percent. So then, it's, it's if you gave them yeah. one, it would cover it. If you gave one percent, it would cover it. Yeah, and with it, including the garage. Yeah, because it's only a half percent over, right? All right. And All in, it's thirty. So you may as well. Yeah, garage and shed is thirty-two twenty-two. Well, I want to. I want to hear from. Uh, yeah. The other folks. This is confusing. You want to come up here? No, I'm good. Um, here. Go, go ahead. We, we really enjoy the view. Obviously, have. I mean, you have to come and come into our front room or stand on the front porch and see. It's just going to be like. Like here, so see, look, looking at this white wall where right now we have your trees are beautiful. Well, I, I, put up. Okay. The uh, trees, the lake. I see herons. I see, you know, I, I don't want to really look at a big white wall out my windows or my front porch or my our front yard. You know, we we strongly no, object uh, to uh, no, that, that, that is yard. a definite understanding. I'm just, I guess, I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm wondering to the the extent of it from from my vantage point. You'd have to come there because you have to go on our property. We're a good five, six feet high. You're, 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 I, 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 you know what? I asked, I, I estimated you actually a little higher than five foot. I'm, I'm, I, I, I was I thinking, measured it with a transat. It's five and a half feet to the bottom of their stairs. They got eight, uh, eight inch stairs. So it goes up 32 uh, inches from there. So now you're talking about eight and a half feet to the bottom see, floor. See, that's a, I was figuring about eight foot. Yeah. To the, the bottom floor of that uh, house. If you're standing there, I think, you know, a five foot person is now I, five I th feet over the edge of that. I, I think, yeah, because I think Patrick was, we were debating this at the site, trying to figure out the elevation difference because we were taking a tape and just trying to try to get, I mean, Five foot seems logical in terms of the actual topography, but then you got the building and what have you. So we were, yeah, we were trying, we were trying to make an estimate to see whether they'd be looking over the top of it or looking over the corner of it. We, I mean, because we have, we take that into account. You know, nobody wants our past practice has always been when it comes to lake property. You said you look over the, you look at the white wall. When we were up there, mm -hmm. I, I mean, numerous times, you'd be looking at a quarter of the building, but you still have 
a front view of Owasco Lake. Oh, yes, definitely. We definitely have a now, view. No, no, this yeah. is what I'm saying. So because of the dimensions, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> of most of the property on our lakeside here in Owasco, the lot size varies immensely. And in the past, because of the irregular shoreline, we have a very difficult time placing everything off anybody's part of view. I mean, we've tried yeah. Yeah. the best we can, but because of the irregular shoreline, <clears throat> well, people still, like I said, in this case, just looking at this, we still have a height requirement of a building at 35 feet. Some people have literally started building camps 20 or 30 feet in front of the people next door that we've actually stopped. So, I mean, it's hard to balance everything out and give everybody everything they want. We have to take into consideration what our zones, zoning codes are, and then try to work it out like we're trying here to, to figure out the best way to do it. See what, what what I'm looking at, it seems to me this configuration, if you're looking out that side, you're looking at the tr pretty yeah, much the trees. trees. There. Gotta, and all that will 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 uh will grow in too. Two of those bushes and two of those trees were just recently planted. So you know, in a year and a half, you won't see it at all. So I, I think I really think you have to stand in our come into yeah. our front room. Or be on our front porch and look out. Because what, are, are, are they white? What white pine? Uh, the the trees are white pine. And yeah, that's the, like, uh, it looks like white pine. The the, the uh, bushes so, are willows. So you're talking. They're, they're yeah. gonna, did you clear? Let me ask you this: Did you clear trees from this? Because this looks like it looks like pretty freshly. The grass looks pretty good, unless you do a good lawn job, better than me. No, a lot of that was, did you, was did, 15 yards of topsoil and yeah, well, it, yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Did you did you clear a lot of trees that enhance their view? Their view? Yeah. Um, no. No, I'm talking to, down I'm here, to down closer to the lake. To, yeah, I had about four dead trees that were there uh, that were in my view, and then there was a whole bunch of brush like they have now. If you look at the other pictures, their whole south side is, is well, brush. If, you, if well, you pull up image bay and you look at uh, 2018 picture looking at yeah, I didn't it, do that. It looks like a huge wooded area. Both both properties. If you, you had couldn't a lake, see the water. Okay. If you had a lake, yeah. you wouldn't see the building. No, you couldn't see the water at all. Yeah. I, so this I kind of seem to remember it that way, but I because yours looks opened up to me. With, with all with all this yeah. where all the stone is. Yes. So what I guess I'm getting at is you you remove trees to enhance everybody's view, it including including your neighbor anything. brush, because right. because you left a lot of the brush up closer between the houses. Correct. Is that the stuff you remove? Yes. The water side before we purchase that house, we the house, yeah. they cleared up by kind of seeds. Oh, so yeah. I, well, so it had been two elderly people living there. Yeah, I seem to recall it. I, I, I'm not that far from there. Uh, down, I, I placed farther down Rockefeller, and, and, and just going by in the water, I just seem to remember it was more grown. I mean, that's my memory of it. I, I couldn't say. I couldn't say with any degree of certainty. It's, you know, it still exists in between our property. And the fannings is just the south, all uh, up to the south. It's just wooded. Oh, Nobody's yeah. touched that. Yeah. yeah. See, 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 where the neighbors got uh, 321. We, right? we had, see, yeah. we had this issue down farther with the gazebo, or the, 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 the actual built in one between. That one sits at the water's edge. That's yeah. nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, that, that was. Um, that was way down to way down front. I said basically houses. sitting on the on the water oh, the, the White the third House. House up, uh, third house north of five. And I, I remember the neighbor going crazy over it. And then the tree line blocked their view of it. I mean they couldn't see it, but they they claimed for whatever reason that it was gonna bother their view, which all right. Are you looking up the image, mate? Yeah, but <laughs> very good. 
<laughs> you know, the technology is a wonderful thing. <laughs> the only thing was there was nothing on the 321. Thank you for citing us yeah. into it. You'll be for a while. The Google image is still, I believe, the same. Oh, the Google? Yeah, if you All did right. that, you and Google that Maps. might be easier to do it. So yeah, Google Maps. I, I looked at that. Yeah, I got you. So, so we yeah, so here's really, a... Strong these are your tree lines on. Looking at the shed and... Yeah, but it's a large shed. Well, yeah. yeah. See that I'm having a little trouble with it. Just I try to balance the competing equities because I don't I don't like block and views at all either. But I, I I'm trying to figure. Okay, you look at it, the the property. You look where the the house is going. You look where the deck is going. You look where the two swales are, where the current shed is. And I'm going. There isn't a whole lot of option to 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 put additional storage unless you move it closer to the water. Which is even more more yeah. egregious. So I'm trying. Got, like, lots of, we have lots of ideas. If you're looking for ideas, you can put one down near the rock where all that granite. You could do major storage down there. You could put storage on your building a new house. You can yeah, that that one ain't gonna fly with us though. <laughs> What's that gonna fly? With <laughs> building right on the on that shoreline. Oh, storage <laughs> storage on the, down there. I mean, if you want. We, um, not on the shoreline. You're not going to no be building anything. Trust and trust me. It wouldn't be us. No it, 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 it wouldn't be us. It would be the high, the high but water. Like, but like if we, we have had so home. much problem with it. It's just, so it's, it's frightening. Right. storage right in the new home that, you know, like yeah. underneath. There's other oh, ideas on. rather than that. Well, can't be more storage in the backyard, John. Because then I have to walk past the house still. Yeah. I got to go past the fence line with that trampoline. I mean, that's a nightmare. I would like it as close to the water as possible. Mm -hmm. So bringing it back almost 100 feet from the water line is a pretty nice compromise, I think. You have a but, flat but it's, trailer. But it's in a, and a, it's in a front yard. Like at, when, the, when you live on the lake, the lake side, that's your front yard. I yeah, so yeah. Like, you don't yeah. see sheds in front yards, you know. I'm sure. Well, I don't know. Watch go lake right up the street. <laughs> right up the head of the street on the yeah, other side. Boy, did we? Yeah, did we step in that one? Um, well, well and, and to be honest, that's the only reason for the need for the variance is because the, height. the front it's yard. The anything in front of the home is it <clears> can't be above three, three feet, feet, right? Other than that, yeah. we we wouldn't be having the conversation that. Because the lake, the front, that is your front yard. Right. So it just yeah. seems ridiculous to walk out and be looking at a shed. You well, we have fences. Or you've had... at the lake. Not, John, you got this way. John, I, I have my coffee. I have my my okay. evening in that okay. front porch. Right. And I'll be looking at a white well, shed. Exactly. Anybody, anybody, oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. I've already oh, planted oh, stuff oh, there. Oh, you oh, won't oh, see it in a month, in a year and a half. I appreciate that. Okay. Well, yeah, let, let's 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 keep it to a, a minimum. A, any additional? Um, I mean, we know the thoughts on the the, the, the height. Yeah, like so. The, the compromise wall. would be making a smaller shed. We do bigger. have we we do have an email that I received this afternoon. Oh yes, um, and I also received a letter earlier dated. Oh yeah, when we we went from. Those are from Lee. From, 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 yeah. Dated we, July 11th. We, yeah, want to make, want to make those part of the record. Right. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, the email is dated today. That's on nice. December 19th. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Was the first letter that was sent? You have the data. July 11th, 2022. These are from the same person? Uh, yeah. This is from Elite Downing. And they asked the emails from Elite Downing. Yeah, because well, I the original application was withdrawn and a new application. The there, there was some objection and, and some issues that needed, I guess, to, the to be worked out. The original application I pulled the pulled. day of the yeah. meeting, but that was in June, right? And I told you guys I would table it. And then your daughter wrote something July 11th? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they thought it was going to be on, for the next, on, the ne on the next meeting. Gotcha. Well, I want the two letters to be made part of the record. Absolutely. Anybody else have any questions? 
um, any additional any additional comments? Yeah, yeah. You know, yes, other, both. I mean, we uh, instead of rehashing what we did, we, we we know the sight line issues. We talked of the elevation issue. Any. Um, I think from the first application to the second, did you move it towards the water two feet? Uh, yes, uh, three feet actually, I believe is what it was. There might have been two or three feet. Uh, and and it, you know what? It was two feet. Um, big, I made a mistake on. Um, so the house was moved up 10 feet. I thought the deck was eight feet. The deck is actually 10 feet. That was the difference. For the yeah, had to hit, you had to there. keep a separation. So, yeah, it was originally 28 feet off the original house that's there now. Now it's 30 feet. That yeah. was the difference. I, so, I also have a I'm question. Saying. Looking at the lay of the land there, there's a, where the shed is going to go is sloped. Oh, yes. yeah. Now there's an elevation issue there. There's an elevation issue. It's one foot from the beginning of the shed. Right. Are you digging out the back part? Yeah. So it'll so be, it'll it'll be six inches of runner crush. So technically that west side will be six inches higher than. Where are the doors on this shed? They're going to be facing north. Away facing, from the house. facing north. Yes. Okay. Towards, towards the pump towards house. The, yes. Okay. To, towards my house. Correct. The north side zero. Yeah. No, I, I was just because when I looked at it, I'm saying, boy, the back side's going to be up at least a foot and a half. Yeah, it's it's exactly 12 inches. 12 inches, okay. And is it is it just a shed or is it got you mentioned sliding doors at a kid's bunkhouse? It'll have sliding doors just for a, a, just for general appearance because we have to look at it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's all it is. So John, is there any other type of a shed you could do that wasn't as high? Did you look at anything? So the original shed uh, comes, I believe, eight feet. The problem with that one is when you walk inside it, um, if you were to see my other shed, it has two um, shelves uh, from on each side and you're able to walk under that. So I am, at least I'm under six feet. So you can walk under that shelving. Whereas if you get the eight foot one, you can't walk underneath oh, it. So that was the reason. And plus, you cut the, your storage too. Yeah. So so the the difference in the price of the shed is literally one hundred dollars between the you know uh, the one that goes to ten feet high or the eight foot walls rather than the six foot walls. Yeah, is what it is. There's no so electric in the shed. There will be electric in the shed. Yes. And there's room around it to lights ribbon. and probably two outlets or something like that. Minimal. Is it guttered? Uh, I right. know. Drainage. At least it doesn't come that way. Is it prefab? Is prefab doing you know? it? Yeah, it's um backyard outfitters. Okay. Usually in the past we've had gutters added to the sheds okay. to protect. Well, at least on the side that it their neighbors there. and their own structures. Okay. Which and you're having a crush and run. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're directly on the swell. Yeah, so there's, there's, no, swell. there's no cement pad. Okay. It'd have yeah, to do the gutter into the swale. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be on uh, south? Yeah, you want on the south, south side. South side. That, that water yeah. went to the swale. So it goes to the swale. So, yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, I see what you're saying. Is that the roof line, the way the roof line is going? Any additional questions? We, anybody have a motion? Yes, I do. Mr. John and Christian Pease of 325 Sunset Beach Drive, Auburn, New York, 13021, tax map 138.03-1-65, are requesting a seven foot front yard variance in order to erect a 10 by 16 by 10 storage shed in the front yard area. I am making a motion to approve the application of Mr. John and Christian Pease for a seven foot front yard height variance and a 1% building coverage variance to permit 11% building coverage. This is based on the site plan approved by the, on 12 220 by the Town of Owasco Planning Board. Also, Mr. and Mrs. Pease will have to return to the planning board with an update site plan containing the amendment for the new storage set. Yeah, meaning if they don't approve it, 
even if we get our variance. You, 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 just so you understand. Yep. And making this determination, the Zoning Board of Appeals is took into consideration 150.25B fences, terraces, and projections in required yard, 150 attachment one table of dimensional requirements go to the town of Owasco. Also three different site visits to the property at 325 Sunset Beach Drive to review the proposed area and other property considerations. We also took into consideration the benefit to the applicants is weighed against the health, safety, and welfare of the neighborhood. In doing so, the zoning board has determined the following. There will be no undesirable change to the character of the neighborhood. Other residents in the neighborhood have similar situations due to their lot size. Due to the location of the present residents and the proposed residents on this property, this is the only logical position for the structure to be located on this property. Due to lot size, property setbacks, and locations of the residents, thus creating a hardship on locating the storage set in any other areas. These are the minimum variances necessary to accomplish the proposed storage shed. We did receive a letter from Lee Downing of 321 Sunset Beach Drive Southside property explaining their views. Also, we received an email dated 91922. This will be made part of the record. With the approval of this application, there will be no items stored around the sides or the outside of this storage set. Also, there will be a gutter placed on the storage set to run off onto the south side into the swale. Oh. Yes. Can we add that the shed should match the house? It will. It'll have black windows. Also, uh, the shed light. shall match the color of black the windows. main residence. <laughs> And Jerry, did you mention in there that, your that the Downings were present? I, I know yes, you said the letter. And I, the and I, uh, I do you guys just... think that it would be important to come and look at from our point of view? If you could come to all, our home and look at it and see, what the, see how obstructed all, it is. and how Also, the Downings it. were present at the meeting to present their position. And one more thing, Jerry, um, at the very beginning, when you said it was a variance, um, you said a seven foot uh, front yard variance. You didn't put the height part in there. Very beginning. Front yard height variance. Or maybe you just forgot to say it then. So I'm just in there. So the variance, the variance is seven foot. Seven foot yeah. front yard height variance. Yeah. Okay. To offer 10 foot. To, to yeah. be a total of 10. Mm -hmm. And then 1% for the building cover. Yeah, you did mention it. no items being stored yep. behind. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Stored around. stored around or on the outside of the storage shed. I will second the motion. Okay, we'll get a motion yes. A second. Gary? Yes. Tom? Yes. Mike? Yes. Kathy? Yes. And David? Yes. Did you get Steve? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear you. That's all. <laughs> You're too busy talking. Okay. So. You need to talk to Patrick. I need to come back to planning. Okay. Um, so, you know, then, uh, folks, you, 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 in terms of the variance, uh, I, I mean, I guess the board voted unanimously to grant the variance, but it's not, I mean, I guess planning is another avenue. That's so it's interesting that why do you have a law against, against a shed in the front yard and then allow a shed? Well, that's, that's a function of the, the zoning board to, when there's hardships and issues of this nature to, hardship, to address. The hardship, is, the hardship is to walk past the fence line and walk a little bit. John, I think you like to walk. We're a mover and a prover. Oh. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to move as much as I have to. Are you taking that trampoline and inflating every time you do the water? Not every time. No. We're not we, there uh, for a month. That's what we're going to have to do. Make the motion to adjourn. Yeah.
I would, yeah. So, can, uh, uh, Laura, I, I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> and second, and second. Sean or Kathy? Oh, So, can I ask you, Ron, you mentioned that you had landscape around it. To my liking, is what you had said. I, I did, and that fell on deaf ears. You know that? <laughs> that fell on deaf ears to who? To you. To me? Yeah, you said, I just don't like well, it. Oh, no, I said, I said you didn't hear me then. I said, I like to dream. No, I know you said, I like dream. <laughs> yeah. and, and I would be hey, more than willing hey, to do hey, that if you hey, said. Hey, John, will you give her a hydrangeas for God's <laughs> sake? The I mean, we you know, the there, there's, there's, there's copper. Uh, my, 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 there's compromise. You went two feet towards the lake for the. There's no compromise. The, well, I could wait. Like, my my sense is you won't. Right. My There's sense. nothing wrong with the backyard. Everybody puts their sheds in the backyard. And man, last you put your we sheds got in, the in the backyard. Jack can put another shed there. <laughs> There's a proposed garage there, and there's no other space because of the grinder pump and the utility. In the backyard, with the, the grinder pumps off the uh, side. The proposed off the, off to, the, to, the, to the south side. No and if you have a garage and a shed, you have two sheds on the side of the house. It's done. We it's don't have it. We 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 do well, my my sense is it won't be. To be honest with you, with the with the trees, yeah, that's it, it, it will not be visible at all. That'll grow in. They won't Laura, see it, so. and I'll I'll absolutely put some hydrangeas there. But I would have done that in the first place rather than putting the willows there that I just planted. But. Well, that's a listen. I mean, you could have 